Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe, and today I'm going to show you how to do my new eyebrow. thought I'd take a little lighter approach. I think my eyebrows have had many a journey in this YouTube life and makeup life. And uh, this is the new way I feel comfortable with them, and I thought I'd do a little update video for my bruise out. So if you want to see how to get the look, stay tuned. I've been kind of growing mine out before I try and get them as high as possible. Um, but I've just been kind of letting them grow. Honestly, this is this is pretty much as good as it gets for me so far. And they're not as like Anyways, let's get started. So I've been using the Anastasia number no. seven brush, which has a little spoolie and uh, the chocolate bit brow pomade get into it. So what I like to do is take a little scooby scoop and smooth it on my hand. Whenever I'm not using the, well, when I'm using it and I'm not dipping in, I like to place it upside down on my counter or wherever I'm doing my makeup so that this part doesn't oxidize and get all hard. I just like to place it upside down and then it lasts longer. Next, I'm just going to flatten the sides like this because I want it nice and sharp. We're doing a little flicky. Once you got your little fine point, I like to start, oh, first of all, I just like to comb out my brows, the little bits that I have. I do have some now though, kind of in the direction that they're growing. And that just helps to take out any product that's in your brow, like from foundation or whatever. So I like to start kind of in the center and draw little flickies, kind of below where my eyebrow grows because I want them to look a little bit thicker. And then that'll really enhance, and enhance the spikies. So I'm gonna do little flakes. You don't have to go all the way to the top just yet I, because my hair is kind of stopping it, but towards the center, I like to flick them more in a more scraped up motion. And then if you wanna be extra, you can flick them on top a little bit more. And I'm just going to fill it in a little bit towards the tail so that they go out a tiny bit. Feel me? I'm going to do a little light stroke and then you can decide. And if you, oops, son. If you uh, make a little mistake, it's okay because there's this little flex. You can try and get rid of that one. Um, they're pretty forgiving brows, but I think the key is having a, a pointy nice sharp tip and I'm always guiding with the blunt end and flicking it out with the angled end. So same thing, just flicking these babies through. And if you want, when there's not as much on your brush, you can use it to kind of fill in your brows, but I'm kind of keeping it more on the sparse side. So usually for the top, um, that's why I was saying I kind of messed up, I like to flick it downwards because that's usually how the brows grow. So usually on the top they grow down and on the bottom they grow up and then they meet and go. Mine do anyways. So I'm just flicking it downwards. I'm not making as prominent strokes just because uh, it's nice to have different levels of thickness. You feel me? So once I kind of got it's a good way to kind of like get your guideline in and then when you're like damn that's a great place to have eyebrow hair you could fill it in just a little bit more going downward on the top. And you can still, like I like to kind of have more um, straight-ish brows. I guess this has an angle, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. This side is a little harder because I have a scar in that eyebrow. So for this side, I'm going to do the same, starting kind of in the center. This side, I always have a little tiny bit of a harder time. Not a tiny bit of a harder time, a lot of bit of a harder time, but there's always a wild card brow, I think. And I'm gonna do my little strokies. I'm just gonna fill in that empty spot a little bit so I know it's filled, I'm not missing that gap. Well, when I went a little lower, but that's, uh, look at that. Well, that's why I'm using the wrong end. Dumb. Okay, back in business here. So I'm bringing it down just a little bit like I did on the other side and I'm going in to do my strokes and what's good about these brows too is they don't really have to like match in the way that you draw the hair so much like perfectly because uh, that's not how a pair of hair does this oops you can't see because my hat 
gonna go do my downward strokes for the top hair. So now that the brows are kind of in place, I am going to comb them through with the tinted brow gel and chocolate by Anastasia also. And I'm going to be light handed because I don't want to leave my streakies. There. That's pretty much it. You can snatch your brows afterwards with concealer if you want. I'm, uh, I think mine are high enough, and uh, I don't want them to look super crispy clean. So, anyways, so that completes the look. Hope you guys are feeling them. If not, that's cool. I change up my brows here and there. Maybe I'll like the next one. Maybe they'll go back soon. I don't know. I was looking at my eyebrows. I'm like, damn. What was I thinking? But I love them at the time, and that's what's important. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow. And love yourself, and stay pretty. And I'll see you guys again in the next video.